Hi, I'm Skyler. I recently switched to using Goodreader for PDFs, and I really, really like a lot of its features. It can um, pull annotations from almost any program. It can annotate PDFs, which is a hugely valuable feature in itself. Um, and it will also allow something called PDF reflow, which is really pretty neat. What that does, since a PDF is actually an image, is reflow the image into text, which makes it editable. Pretty wild. And that also allows you to uh, manipulate the text or change the viewing aspect of the text so that it's larger or smaller, so that you can change the font size, essentially. Let's check it out. If I open up Goodreader, I've got a PDF here. So this is a PDF. And while I can't increase the size of the font, as you would like if you were typing a document, I can pinch to zoom. And once I've pinched to zoom, you can change the page and it'll maintain the same zoom ratio. Makes it a lot better for reading than iBooks, which changes back to its normal aspect every time you swipe to the next page, which is really annoying if you're reading a long PDF. So that alone makes Goodreader a really, really attractive option for reading PDFs. Now let's check out the PDF reflow feature. It's this button right here. Tap it, and you get something that looks like this. So this is actually an editable text document. And if I tap the gear, I can go to font size, and I can change that to whatever I'd like. There we go. So we've just looked at two different ways to increase or decrease the size of the apparent, the apparent size of the font in Goodreader, either pinch to zoom or PDF reflow. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.